Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I start, I want to make sure you guys have your Akai MPK Mini set up for Ableton Live. If you are having trouble setting it up, I will link a video down in my description for you to watch first before continuing this video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the drums on your Akai MPK Mini using Ableton Live. So there are two ways to do this. One of the ways to do it is by going to drums and simply just selecting a drum kit. And as you can see, all of the sounds are already put into the pads of the Akai MPK Mini. And you can also move the drum sounds around if you'd like. So for example, if I wanna move the kick and put it right up here, I can totally do that and it will just switch places with that sound. Same thing with the snare, if I want to put it right up here, it'll switch places with that sound, and then you've got your kick and your snare right up there. Another way you can assign drums to your Akai and PK Mini drum pads is by building your own drum rack. You just go to instruments, double click on the drum rack, and yours is going to be empty. Mine has already some defaults in there, but I'm just going to delete them because this is how yours is going to look. All right, so what you can do now is you can go to your sample packs and I'm going to go ahead and just choose this Adrian Cabrera drum kit and I'm going to choose a hat. And then I'm going to choose a kick. Let me see. Put that right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a snare. Let's see here, just grab this one. All right, so there you go. Now you have your kick, your snare, and your hat. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously there's a ton of stuff you can do. You can go to audio effects and you can put some effects on your drums. So for example, I can go to drum bus and I can go ahead and put that on my kick. I can add the drum bus right here, make sure it's only on my kick and I can add more drive, make it hit harder, um, add more crunch, really whatever you want. And that goes for every other sound on the drum rack. There's really like so much you can do with it. This is definitely just the start. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as I can. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna keep up with more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.